project I did for the Navy. Again, it was a project that had to go past a jury that was actually reduced to an admiral because none of the military men who were on this jury would dare say a word, yes, sir, no, sir. And this admiral, he refused two of the, uh, this is the third model I did for this fountain, because the first one, he said, oh, that would be perfect for the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things I love about being a stuff, and I probably will have to cut this very short now, is the fact that if you meet real people, real life, uh, lots of techniques and processes that are involved in everyday living and in achieving many wonderful things that are useful to us. But they have, the, uh, they have only that place in our lives. Only their usefulness. And they do not necessarily contain any dreams. And the sculptor's job is to give me a different way of thinking about things. A little bit of a different way or a big different way, but in any case, uh, it's like somebody has added another light to my my battery of lights. Anyway, but this does involve a hammering technique, which I think I've mentioned to you, to an ultimate degree. There was no way out of it but to, to include a ship, <laughs> which, uh, which I was rather pleased with. And then I actually, I, I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, I designed the fountain work, which can be seen in the, the waterfall that falls down and, and uh, represents, it's called La Mer, but it's basically the representation of a ship breaking the waves on the sea. Well, since this is for a naval officer's club in Toulon, it certainly is a right, a possible theme for them, and of course it allowed me to do the most extensive hammering job I've ever done in my life. <laughs> now I also, it, uh, it's, there's always something else, something extra to do, and the architect wanted me to make the design of the bricks on the courtyard, and also he wanted this water basin, which flows under the stairway, and then there was the problem of putting up a, a guard so that the car is coming through this courtyard and going into the parking under the building, couldn't fall into the water basin and all of that. So um, it gave me an opportunity to use a kind of stone that's found in the Vaucluse and simply when it breaks, it breaks into these sharp pointy things or these natu they're natural looking, they are natural rocks for it to break and shatter into pointed things that you might see at the seaside was a wonderful quality. I remember them shipping a huge load of this truck with all this tons of this broken rock in the courtyard. I found, uh, I believe he was an Italian mason, to carry the stones around for me. Sometimes if you come across someone whose mind works exactly the way yours does, he would pick stones and say, you're right, and what about the one to the left? We, would, we worked like we were the same person to compose the uh, stones that formed the, where the jets, the water jets come out of, and uh, underneath with the column that holds the stairway up, it, all done with that stone. But he, we worked very fast together because he knew, he knew exactly what I felt. He saw it immediately. And it's, to find a partner like that is something very precious, you know. If you hire someone who, who you ask to uh, put up a picture and they, they get the nail in wrong three times, I don't know, but you, you wish you had somebody who knew what they were doing.